This is part two of my, I don't know how many part, tutorial on how to solve the 4x4. Last time I told you how to solve the centers, and now I will continue in teaching you the edges. So, it's a really scary thing to look at and see, alright, look at all these edges, what do I do? Well, it's not actually that bad. So, first thing we look at is we find one. So, I've already got here the orange and blue edge right here. So, whenever you're starting out, it's easy to just look at it right there and go, okay. So, the idea is whenever we pair up all these edges, um, they'll all be the same color like this one. We got so lucky. It's the orange and yellow. It was already done. And don't expect it to be like that put in. That was just absolute pure luck. But it's really weird. But anyway, so we want them all to be put together like that, so it'll resemble a 3 by 3 which you can then solve to an extent, and I will explain that later. That'll be very important also. So if we start out with our orange-blue, let's find the other orange-blue edge. Here it is, way back here. Let's bring it up beside it. Now, what a lot of people are going to notice is that sometimes it'll be like this, where... Is it tilted? Weird. It really is. Whatever. Okay. So, you'll have your orange blue here and your orange blue here. Well, the idea is to have it like this. So, here's our orange blue and here's our orange blue. The idea is that you can pair it. That'll create it. You take it up. So, I guess an insertion alg, if you really wanted to think about it as algorithms, would be R, U prime, R prime. But whenever you do, it doesn't necessarily have to be that, but whatever you do bring in, you bring in something from the top layer that is not solved. You do not bring in something that's solved, because whenever you have to go to fix your centers, it'll split it apart. So we're going to bring in a not solved pair and fix our centers back. Yippee friggin' right. And that is, I got a really lucky scramble here, because that is also paired my red-green, which is not supposed to happen. Do not expect that. So now, I see a red-blue, and I know I can also see this red-blue. So, look what it gave us. So the algorithm to do this is actually, let's see here, R prime, F, R, U, L. What that does is it just makes it so that we can pair it instead of them being all hunky dory homosexual on us where we can't do we can't just pair it over there because then move the other one out of the way obviously so do the algorithm and now they're ready to go we pair them together and we bring them up into the top layer and replace their spot with something that is not solved if it is solved you'll be very very sad so continue this process and wow i don't even believe that just happened that's the second time that's happened Please do not think that this is real. I'm going to do one more example, just so you don't think that that's supposed to happen, because here, here's our white-green and white-green, because I swear to you, that is an abnormality that I cannot get over right now. That's really messed up. Okay, so pair them together. Bring in another one, as long as it's not solved. Oh, yeah, fix them. Make sure you fix them, because I just put my green there, and that was wrong. All right. What the hell's going on? Oh. I have to make a quick note. I shit you not, that is not normal. That's messed up. That should not have happened, and I'm very sorry that it did. Just just saying. That's really messed up. Do not expect that to happen. All right, I, I, that's just really funny. That never happens ever. Okay, um, let's just ha ignore like that didn't happen. It's not supposed to do that. And I don't know why it is. I'm kind of freaked out a little bit. But, so just do all your edges like that until you get down to your very last two, which you probably will. It's going to take you a while, so understandable. Okay. What happens is you get this. You get down to your last two. Your last two are very strange, and you're going to be kind of scared. 
because what happens if you do this out here? You do the out I taught you earlier. You go to put them together, but like I said, oh, and a quick note, quick note. Um, having these back here will not, like, whenever you go to parent edge, it will not be affected. Like, you can put up, bring in another one. When you put it back, they'll be fine back here, so don't worry about that. So, what happens on the last two, you'll be like, yay, it's go time. No, it's fail time, because you have, you have to bring in a solved one. And that's just going to undo it whenever you go to put your center back. So you cannot do that. Well, let's do it the other way. No, it's not going to work. So, we do the algorithm that I told you before. Sometimes they'll already come like this to where they're opposite of each other. And you perform this algorithm. Write these down. Okay. Lowercase d. R. F prime. U. R prime. F. Lowercase d prime. I just did that. It kind of went out of frame there. And I pairs them up. Awesome. All your edges are paired. Coolio. So, uh, yeah, check out part three, which is continuing solving like a 3x3, three three, and then the dreaded uh, parody, which is, uh, you will, yeah, dreaded for a reason. All right, part two. Oh, part three, yeah, part three. Click it.